Hello everyone, today we will take a look at Across the Seven Kingdoms, a chapter pack for a Game of Thrones, the card game. Now this is um, containing cards 1 to 20 of the, f of the War of Five Kings cycle, also known as the very first chapter pack of the War of Five Kings cycle. So let's open it up and see what we get. It's been a while since I've opened these, it may not look like a while. But it really is. The other videos were all shot way before. So, what do we start off with? We start off with a, a neutral uh, event, the Dragon's Tail, which has a gold cost of zero. It's an omen. And as an action, choose an opponent. You and that player each draw two cards. Cool. Oh, yeah, of course. And we always get a playset. So that's pretty neat. Then we have Rob Stark for House Stark, obviously. Seven gold, um, it has military and, uh, wait, it's, uh, how did you call it? Was it military? I think so. Military and power. Uh, it has five strength and it has renown. During military challenges, Rob Stark gets plus one strength for each loyal character you control. Action. While Rob Stark is participating in a military challenge, choose a participating non-king character. Now he is a king and a lord. Uh, stand that character and remove it from the challenge. Limit once per challenge. Okay, cool. Then we have Riverrun. House Tully, the Riverlands. Also for House Stark. Two gold cost location. With a reaction after power is gained by or move to a House Tully character. Neil Riverrun to have that character gain one power. Right, next up we have uh, Sir Colin of Greenpools. Um, it's a two gold cost character with military and power for one strength. Uh, during power challenges, Sir Colin of Greenpools gets plus three strength. All right, that's for House Tyrell. Then we get the Bitterbridge Encampment, three gold, uh, the Reach, also for uh, House Tyrell. As, an, as a reaction, after a summer plot card is revealed, Neil Bitterbridge Encampment. Then each player may put a character on, into play from his or her hand. Wow. Nice. Alright. That, that That's actually pretty cool. Uh, right, for the Night's Watch we have Ari, Recruit. Uh, it costs 4 gold. It has Military and Insight uh, with 3 Strength and Ambush 4. If you control Arya Stark, sacrifice Ari. Because of obvious reasons. Uh, action! Return Ari to your hand to draw one card. Right, and also for the Night's Watch, we have a white tree. It is contested, it is in the north, it costs three gold. As a reaction, after an opponent collects income, kneel white tree to move one gold from that player's gold pool to your own. Alright. We have uh, the White Raven for House Baratheon. For two gold, we get a one strength uh, power character. It's a Raven. Um, with a force reaction, after you lose a power challenge, sacrifice White Raven. Reaction, after you win dominance, if there is a summer or winter plot card revealed, gain one power for your faction. Cool. Then we have the Ruby of Relor. Uh, Relor character only. It's an item for three gold. As a reaction, after you win an insight challenge in which uh, attached character is attacking, name a card. The choosing opponent, uh, sorry, uh, the losing opponent reveals his or her hand and discards each card with that name. Right, House Lannister, Janna Slint. For five gold, we have a military and power, uh, sorry, an uh, insight character with two strength. He has Intimidate, and as an action, pay one gold to give Janna Slint uh, plus two strength until the end of the phase. Then we have Levies at the Rock, for zero gold, an event, also House Lannister. As a reaction, after a player initiates a, a challenge against you, move up to X gold from that player's gold pool to your own. X is the number of attacking creatures. Characters. For House Greyjoy, the captain's daughter. For four gold, we have a power character with two strength. And as a reaction, after a non-loyal character enters play, kneel your faction card and sacrifice Captain's Daughter. 
to place that character on top of its owner's deck. Pike. It's a location for two gold. The Iron Island, also for House Greyjoy. Action. Neil Pike to choose a character. Until the end of the phase, that character gains stealth. Then we go to House Targaryen. Uh, Viserys Targaryen for two gold and a power icon. Um, it has one strength. It is a king. It is a lord. While Viserys Targaryen uh, is attacking, each king character must be declared as a defender if able. Interrupt. When the dominance phase ends, if you're if no opponent controls a king character, Viserys Targaryen gains one power. All right. There we have Shirak Kia for zero gold. It's an event. It's an omen. With a reaction after you win a power challenge by five or more strength, nail your faction card to choose and stand a participating character. All right. Harman Uller for House Martel. Six gold character with a military and power icon for four strength. It has renown, and each sand snake character in your hand gains ambush X. X is one less than that card's printed cost. Nice. Very cool. Very cool card indeed. Then we have the Tower of the Sun, which is a location for two golds in the city of Dorne. Uh, as a reaction, after an event is played, gain one gold. Limit once per face. It's very, very sweet. Then we have Pyromancers for five gold, for two strength, and with an insight icon. And the dominate, dominance action, kneel Pyromancers and discard one power for your faction card uh, to choose a non limited location and discard it from play. Then we go over to the plots. We have the Reigns of, uh, of Autumn, which is a four gold, uh, three initiative and one claim. Characters and locations do not provide positive gold modifiers. Oh my god. And it has a, a hand limit of six. And then for our last one, oh, I just love this art. Look at that. It just fits the theme so well. Let's just focus a bit. Oh, look at that. Just look at that. Varus's Riddle. For five gold, uh, six initiative and one claim. When revealed, initiate the when revealed ability on a revealed non-riddle plot card as if had as if you had just revealed it very sweet you can actually activate something that's already been revealed very cool it has a seven claim and yeah that's it it's a riddle scheme so that's it for this pack well i don't know if it's um very interesting to me. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, well, we have Rob Stark, River Run, um, Ari. It's not something I'm really overly excited for. Jenna Slint, Pike, Var uh, Viserys Targaryen. Uh, yeah, that's that's fun. And then we have uh, yeah. I don't know. It it's fun. But it's not wowing me like some of the other packs have. Well, maybe the next pack will. So see you all next time. Bye-bye.